So we saw the solenoid do the thing on the bench. Let's see if the solenoid and the motor together will do the thing on the bench. And to test this, we have essentially the same setup as before, um, as we did to test the solenoid, uh, minus the test light. We've got the battery uh, going to plus 12 volts on this terminal here. And then instead of having the negative terminal, um, the negative uh, uh, jumper cable here, the motor, uh, the solenoid will ground to the motor and uh, into the case. So we just have this uh, uh, ground uh, connected here. And I sort of just threw a bolt in there so that I could make it uh, a convenient spot to clamp onto. And we've got, in order to activate the, um, the connection to the key switch, we just have a little jumper here to, to the positive terminal. So let's see if this thing does the thing that it's supposed to do. Solenoid activates and retracts. And by the fact that the motor is spinning means that it's getting at least 12 volts. Good deal. Awesome. Time to go back on the car.